What I want, you got, and it might be hard to handle. Like a flame that burns. <laughs> Do you think they ever have fun on the weekends? What do you, what do you think? think? All right, Tabitha, what does Mrs. Cody do on the weekends? Does she do anything else? Goes to the mall. Oh yeah? Eats chips. She does. She does. She does um tickets. She, no, she does a lot of work to us. Work hard and great our fingers. Do they ever do anything for fun? No. No fun at all. <laughs> what do you think, Mister Ustruck does on the weekends? Do you think he does anything for fun on the weekends? What does he play with them? Weekends. They work hard. Get things done for the week, for like the week for the kids can study. Oh yeah. Do you think that your teachers ever have fun on the weekends? I mean, sometimes if they finish their work. And I have another question for you, Janae. What do you think Mrs. Hall does on the weekends? Yeah, do you think she does anything else? Do you think she ever has any fun on the weekends? No fun? What do you think Miss Mentink does on the weekends? Like, uh, I really go to Starbucks. Because Miss Kanopi always has a Starbucks, and every other teacher always has like Starbucks. I guess you like, go to Starbucks before they come here. What do you think Miss Perusia does on the weekends? She's great. Um, she usually goes to her parents' house. She has time with the parents first and then she goes, she still worries about us. She goes home and she works. I've been roaming around, always looking down at all I see. Painted faces fill the place. I appreciate that Miss Eggleston is very energetic, that she is the Martha Stewart of St. Martini and her organization, her cleanliness, and determination to get the scholars to where they need to be. I appreciate Angela because she's come in to help my most struggling students during math um, four out of the five days a week, and she's just worked so hard with them and given me a little bit of a break to focus on the other students. Um, I also appreciate her because we, I feel like we are so similar in our teaching methods. We're really energetic and we just know how to, how to reach kids, so I'm really thankful to have her as part of my team. Why do you appreciate Mrs. Kanelke? Um, she's amazing at what she does. She knows the material for um, teaching history, for teaching Jesus time, and even when she taught K-5, she did pretty amazing. And she's an awesome friend. What I appreciate about Beth is her loving smile, her passion for teaching, and her love for reading. I appreciate Carrie because she is so giving, she's always smiling, and she always has something positive to say to me. No matter what's going on, there's always this wonderful smile and encouragement. Okay, Linda, what do you appreciate about Tim? Number one, first of all, when he was a um, gym teacher, he was awesome, but he's even more awesome as my computer cheer person. He cheers me on, he helps me when I have problems with my computer, um, he gives me positive feedback, he always comes in um, and he looks around to see what the kids are doing and what they're learning and he's, he's just a, he's a great guy, he's a great helper. Um, 
and he, he's just really good with helping with computers, but most important, he's so positive. I really appreciate having him on the staff. I love that Allie holds me accountable to things I say I'm going to do, like bringing in coffee creamer or emailing Maria our questions about insurance, and that even though I always forget to do them, she always stays really upbeat and just keeps reminding me over and over again. Thanks, Allie! I appreciate Mr. O because I just emailed him a minute ago about a schedule change um, for the class trip this week and he did a really great job of just being really positive and flexible with changes and he always has a smile on his face which I appreciate, it makes my day. I appreciate a lot of things about Mrs. Hall. Um, one thing is she is a woman of integrity. I, I look to her and I hope to become like her one day. Um, she is an incredible woman of God. She prays and she leads us in devotion. And the thing I love about her is that each and every one of her students knows that she loves them. And she works so hard for them to grow, not only emotionally, not only spiritually, but educationally. I see. I appreciate Jess because she's always willing to help out in my room and she'll come in whenever I need and take group of kids and she has a lot of fun with my kids in the class. Um, she's really positive and has a lot of energy and she's just always willing to help. Out Laura. I appreciate the fact that Laura is very quick with a smile and very kind hearted. I appreciate Mrs. Wilson's uh, for all the times I get to talk to her about being a mom and just getting to reminisce and um, talking about my children and sharing our mom moments. I really appreciate the joy factor that Mrs. Cody brings to St. Martin's. One thing I really appreciate about Tara is how when you talk to her, she just adds a sense of like excitement and drama to everything, but like in a good way. Like just the everyday things of them become like they have a sense of secrecy or excitement or like you're a close friend getting in on something that no one else knows about. What do you appreciate about Linda? I love that her number one focus is to tell her students about Jesus. I appreciate Mr. Doty because of his willingness to help. Because he tutors my math students his positive male influence in the middle school. His patience. Ditto all of them. <laughs> what I appreciate about Nella is each and every morning when I walk in assembly, she's already there with a smile on her face and a positive attitude and showing her kids how much she loves her, or how much she loves them, even though it's only like 7.40 in the morning. I think that's awesome because I try to replicate that for my students. I appreciate Liz's uh, young energy that she brings to our staff and to her teaching every day. I appreciate her passion for teaching and how much she wants to learn and become a better teacher and she really takes every avenue possible and asks for opinions, asks for help when she needs it and really just wants to be the best teacher that she can for herself and for her students. And I also love Liz's dancing skills. She's a really great dancer and I love dancing with her. I really appreciate that Angela is an excellent example of teacher leadership and she's very organized. <laughs> okay. What do you appreciate about our teachers at St. Martini? Everything they do for our kids, our families, and me. I just love them. <laughs> well, I appreciate our teachers at St. Martini so much for what they do with the children. Um, we're in the service business. We serve each other. At Lumen, we serve our school leaders. Our school leaders serve our teachers, and our teachers serve our students. And they do such a wonderful job of that. Our students have, have achieved a lot this year, both academically, they've grown emotionally, they've grown socially, and that's just a testimony to the teachers. So, again, thank you very, very much for you do. I can't tell you how much we appreciate you. I appreciate that we have the best staff in the uniform universe because of all of the wonderful things that they do for our kids. They focus on the kids 100% of the time. They love them, they help them with whatever they need, and they go the extra mile, and you cannot find staff members like that anywhere. Words cannot even begin to describe how much I love and appreciate every single one of you. You are all the kindest people 
the most hardworking people that I have ever met in my life and I see it every single day from each and every one of you. I mean, even making this video, you can see how much love and care we have in this in this building for our staff, for our kids, and you don't find that in in most workplaces. I've never experienced that in any workplace before this. And the reason why I feel so happy to be here is because of each and every one of you. You are what makes this building the most amazing place in Milwaukee, maybe the United States, maybe the galaxy. I'm not sure, but it's perfect for me. So thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you. Yeah.